Hi, Vishwa. Welcome to the channel, firstly. Hello, Akshay. How are you doing? Uh, we are doing great. Uh, Vishwa, what about you? How was the day? Yeah, super fine. Good day. So, firstly, congrats, man, for being selected at uh, Deloitte. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, Vishwa, like, uh, like, how was your opinion on its hiring procedure? Like, what are the sections and how are the questions and what was the difficulty level of assessment? I'll just give a small talk to our audience. Over to you. So, um, I was uh, placed that on uh, September 3rd, 2022. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, at that time, uh, uh, still COVID fear was there uh, all around. So, uh, the complete hiring procedure was online. Okay. Yeah, online. Uh, so, at first, on uh, August 17th, we got a mail uh, mm -hmm. from placement officer to apply. Mm -hmm. So, okay. we went to Deloitte uh, Career Portal and we uh, applied mm -hmm. there, okay. uh, giving our information mm -hmm. and uh, up to six semester uh, CGPA points yeah. mm -hmm. okay. and, also and also a resume. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, fast forward that on August 30th, uh, there was a uh, first round. Mm -hmm. um, First one, like uh, it was uh, uh, online uh, assessment. Online assessment. Okay. Online assessment was there. Uh, okay. And uh, again, within uh, four days, on third September, a final round was there. That is uh, tech and the HR. HR round. Okay. Uh, coming back to the online assessment, uh, Vishwa, like how were the questions basically? Any talk on that? Like MCQ and what are the topics they covered? Any talk on that? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Actually, it was. Uh, uh, the platform uh, was uh, Aspiring Minds on okay. Aspiring mm -hmm. Minds, like amcad.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Amcad.com, uh, English comprehension, mm -hmm. logical ability, and uh, quantitative ability. Okay. So, 25 questions from English comprehension, mm -hmm. 24 questions from logical ability, and 25 questions from quantitative ability. Okay. Mm, and that additional sections were there. Okay. So, basically, as you mentioned regarding the sections, like how was it? Uh, if you uh, complete one section, then only it is possible to go to the second section. Or you can come hurry back to the first section later. Like, how was it basically? No, actually, I don't remember uh, because, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, it's already been uh, like uh, more than 12, 12 months. Okay, no, no worries. All right, no worries. No worries. I don't know. It's okay, it's fine. And as you mentioned, three sections will be there. It's all about the comprehensive and the MCQs. And additional to that, uh, Vishwa, like any pseudocode questions, like they'll be giving uh, no pseudocode. No pseudocode questions. Yes, no pseudocode questions. And uh, English mm -hmm. uh, comprehension questions were uh, uh, intermediate level. Like okay. there were uh, passages, mm -hmm. error correction, synonyms, okay. antonyms, jumbled words, passages. Okay. okay. Coming to the logical ability, mm -hmm. like a blood relation. Problem okay. questions mm -hmm. with two direction problems. Okay. Puzzles, mm -hmm. scenarios based questions with conditions. Okay. Yes, and finally coming to quantitative ability, uh, permutations and combinations, like okay. playing with numbers. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, no coding question, Vishwa. Sure? No coding question. No recording. No coding question. Actually, right. coding questions were asked uh, in tech round. Tech round. All right. Yes. Uh, first was assessment. Uh, the second round was uh, the technical round. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And technical. after technical round, it was HR. HR. Actually, uh, for in our case, technical as well as HR. Same round. In single round. Yes. All right. All right. So, coming to uh, the time taken to get the assessment result, uh, how much time it took basically? Yes. Uh, within 48 hours, uh, they, they mentioned it. All right. Okay. After so, be first round. So before going to the technical round, which like what was the eligibility criteria uh, to attend the examination? Uh, any talk on that? Mm. Yes, yes. So we were in the seventh semester at that time. Mm -hmm. So they asked about us uh, like basic uh, six point five CGPA. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, no restrictions on tenth and twelfth scores. Mm. Okay. Yes. No, and no current backlogs. No current backlogs. All right. So these were the three points. eligible criteria. All right. Yeah. So as you mentioned, uh, next was the technical round, and uh, uh, the update was given from the mail. Correct. Yes. Yes. Sure. So how was your technical round? Can you talk on that? So yeah, that was my life's first interview. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. I was completely nervous. I just uh, slept uh, before uh, um, this technical interview. Okay. Like, uh, it was blank and I, was, I slept. Okay. So my time was from 2.30. Okay. Mm -hmm. So from 2.30 it started. Mm -hmm. Basically, he, uh, the interviewer, he asked about the normal mm -hmm. question. Normal question. Huh? Universal. Huh? Universal question. And today we asked it. Huh. Okay. And then uh, uh, he asked about uh, the things I put in resume. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So in detail, he uh, asked about my projects, my okay. courses, mm -hmm. okay. certifications, and mm -hmm. hobbies, everything. Okay. Yeah. Again, uh, he asked about uh, yeah the projects in detail. Project. Okay. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. detail. Uh, my favorite project. Okay. You must explain it. And he also asked about what are the problems you face while doing it. Okay. Um, while well, uh, the problem. You, yeah. How you uh, overcome those problems while doing projects. Projects. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He told about the problems to, um, like uh, teammates. Uh, like like uh, getting help from uh, the coll colleagues and teachers and all. Yeah. Okay. Hey. I told him about uh, continuous. Okay. Like I just gave him the answers. Okay. Okay. Additional to that, uh, Vishwa, like any oops based question, like uh, Java oops and Java fundamental, any programming language. Yeah. 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 First question he asked about uh, what is. Uh, do you know oops? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I told him that uh, I don't know uh, coding, and I'm also going to. Uh, uh, Training, training, training. Uh, okay. Yeah, training. Okay. Um, actually, at that time, our uh, college, that is Kelly Technological mm -hmm. University, oh, they okay. arranged a program like okay. 20 days mm -hmm. a training program for uh, non IT students. Non IT students, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was attending it. I told him. Okay. Actually, in Deloitte, uh, uh, it's okay if you don't know coding. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, uh, there must be something other uh, powerful thing about you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, like uh, you that must overpower that coding coding one means you you must convey them clearly yeah. that okay. you mm -hmm. don't know coding, you you don't uh, have any knowledge in this field, but you have very good knowledge in some other thing mm -hmm. like okay business business case yeah. scenarios. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that so must like, overpower that. Like uh, you know, concluding your point, it's like you know coding. Uh, if you don't know coding, that's totally fine. But in specific domain, you have to be strong. That's yeah. uh, the top. Mm. Yes. In my case, uh, I was uh, um, good at uh, solving business case scenarios. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, I was good in, uh, um, like, I was active in other, uh, like, sports mm -hmm. and volunteering services. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Deloitte really appreciates that. Yep. Extracurriculum activities. Yeah. Their main focus, they do consider the uh, extracurricular activities all right so any as you mentioned you are from the mechanical background did they ask any uh, questions uh, related to your mechanical academic uh, syllabus any kind of questions yeah they asked uh, when i explained them about the mm -hmm. projects um, okay they asked a few questions like okay. like not core mechanical questions okay. mm -hmm. like on surface level they asked all right. So apart from that, any situation-based uh, question, Vishwa, like they'll be giving a scenario and they'll be checking like how you're going to react to that uh, situation. Any such kind of questions? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, like uh, behavior questions they ask, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, what if uh, someone in your uh, teammate will not coordinate with you? Okay. Yeah. What would you do in that case? So I explained them about Okay. Uh, how uh, how you'll uh, get get him into the desk? Okay. Like, if, uh, like explain them in uh, three to four points. Like if some uh, persons yeah. are good at uh, marketing, some person mm -hmm. uh, will be good in doing PPT. Some mm -hmm. persons yeah. in mm -hmm. analysis. Mm -hmm. So we must first identify those uh, their interest. Uh, yeah, and some persons are are ready to do yeah. work um, evenings, mornings like that. I I just explain them in detail. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also. This uh, they asked about puzzle questions. Okay. Three mm -hmm. puzzles they asked. Okay. Um, one was from 
like bat- normal puzzle questions like uh, you have three batteries like two of them are uh, work three of them are working and other okay. seven of them yeah okay. other uh, six of them are not working two okay. working and six not working not working and you have a yeah torch mm-hmm. uh, how will you find out the okay. Okay. the different batteries and okay. actually in this case uh, they mainly see uh, how you arrive to that question mm-hmm. okay Yeah, yeah that thought process they will know in and i will i will suggest that uh, please ask them more, more and more questions mm-hmm. uh, while solving whether it is puzzles business case scenarios or whatever it may okay. be mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah um, delight appreciates the, um, even if you don't know anything and you know has has you are mentioning regarding the puzzle question i see it's not necessary to get the proper uh, answer but they will be saying like how yeah. you going to use the approach and how you're going to try to solve this problem so that is uh, the main thing what you're trying to say correct yes main thing and one thing guys as we saw was mentioning just try to ask as many as question to the panelists so that uh, you'll be getting clarity regarding how to solve that uh, particular question and uh, yeah we should coming back to you any other question uh, apart from this further questions any other thing we are missing in the technical problem no 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 uh, no actually uh, they ask puzzles so business case scenarios mm-hmm. okay and uh, at last uh, as i told you technical and hr questions HR in... both okay mm-hmm. at last they ask about uh, hr like uh, what would you do if uh, uh, your uh, client uh, asks you uh, about the work and you have okay. still not completed okay mm mm-hmm. so how was yeah, your response is, how was your response yeah yeah actually i was uh, prepared for uh, everything like, okay mm-hmm. uh, they like have their own portal mm-hmm. yeah they have their uh, their uh, means uh, instructions on how to be a resume how mm-hmm. to be okay. uh, yeah they have everything so okay. you guys must must check out that delight portal for uh, preparations it yeah, would be very Cool. the link will be shared in the description and just go and uh, have a look into that guys and uh, that's it uh, that was all about uh, the hr uh, questions so yeah, hr any, questions so before going to the job description we show anything we are missing anything you want to mention if you remember no, nothing everything is covered i think all right so uh, just a last question which was like has you mentioned a technical round as well as the hr will be in the single round so first Uh, like how many panelists will be there at least two or three how many panelists will be there you know in my case only a single person is there okay so first it will it will be all about uh, the technical round and later it will be hr yes um, um like uh, in my case uh, um first 40 minutes were on technical technical round okay and last 10 to 12 minutes on hr hr so regarding uh, this job reallocation did they anything mentioned regarding the hr interview the job reallocation location reallocation anything like that no so, no 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 all right so then i guess we have covered everything regarding the tr its hiring procedure and also the hr so now we'll discuss regarding its uh, job description vishwa so yeah what was your role basically like what was your designation uh, allotted to you designation was uh, business technology okay. analyst business technology analyst okay and is there any uh, training going on any internship any stipend any talk on that yeah you are you are asking about yeah yeah training training. training yeah training yeah yes yes uh, uh, there is a training going on now okay mm-hmm. and there is there will be a pre joining uh, training okay one for one month and okay. uh, post joining training uh, for three months Three months. Okay. Any talk on? That is uh, four uh, weeks and uh, twelve weeks respectively. All right. Almost for three months, probably. Yes. So, any talk on stipend, uh, Vishwa? Yeah. For, for uh, pre-joining training, if you complete nine more than ninety percent of uh, okay videos, mm-hmm. okay, uh, they'll give a training of uh, they'll give a stipend, stipend of twenty k. Okay. okay the threshold will be there like you have if you clearing more than 80% then only you are eligible for uh, the stipend or else no yes yes no no and in between uh, will they give any assessment uh, kind of thing in the uh, 
in uh, pre joining uh, trainings uh, like four weeks uh, in, uh, like pre assessment training will okay. be there mm-hmm. weekly training weekly assessment will be there and okay. on assess- assignments will be there okay all right chalo i need talk on its package uh, vishwa ctc yes sir 1.6 was mentioned uh, ctc okay ctc chalo um, actually yeah. you get uh, many more benefits other than uh, your yeah, yeah, this ctc pack- package yes like uh, health reimbursement okay. smart mm-hmm. for the health reimbursement okay mm-hmm. yeah then deloitte pays you very well in that case all right and uh, coming to bond i guess there is no bond probably i guess yes there is no bond yes chalo then uh, we have covered everything and uh, last but not the least any suggestion to audience uh, sure over to you yes uh, many people have uh, like this they assume that uh, big four companies like deloitte pwc ey kpmg mm-hmm. they only take uh, uh, like uh, bright students which are very good in their uh, are very good marks and gps in their mm-hmm. marks sheet like mm-hmm. nine plus so actually it is not actually the case mm-hmm. because deloitte uh, they they'll they see you as a uh, you must be very proactive mm. agree yeah you must be very proactive yeah agree. proactive and uh, you 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 don't want to be good in coding yep agree as you mentioned yeah yeah these were the these are the two points and also um, you has uh, you must have some speciality that uh, mm. makes you stands away from the cloud that cloud, cloud. Yeah. agree yeah, you agree. need and uh, yeah guys adding uh, to the first point it's not necessary that you have to be a pro at uh, coding it's okay that if you're not knowing the coding is totally fine but make sure that you are good at a particular skill and just try to prove them in front of them by doing some kind of projects and some kind of work which you have done in the previous thing and just try to convince them them, them that yes you are the correct person for the particular job just try to convince them in positive manner as uh, we sure did a part, uh, in the same manner and lead to the selection of uh, the profile and uh, yeah wish i guess we have covered everything anything you want to mention for the final talk no nothing nothing is uh, everything is covered all right so yeah wish i really appreciate you for taking time and joining us and uh, giving you know a suggestion to audience and regarding the hearing procedure really appreciate man for t- uh, taking time and joining us today thank you man thank you akshay thank you so much and uh, yeah guys this is all about today's talk and if you're not a subscribed to our channel hit the bell icon and subscribe and guys if you have any kind of queries make use of youtube comment section surely i'll be answering them and as i mentioned we also have a telegram community group called uh, vigro link has been put in the description and wish sure thank you man for joining us today means a lot thank you and yeah guys see you in the next video take care